Today's question is, how much power does Satan possess? In this video, I'll answer that question from a biblical perspective. Then afterwards, as always, I'll share some helpful resources, so stick around until the end. Satan was an angel created by God who turned against God's authority and became the head of a kingdom of evil spirits called demons, his angels. His power both in the heavenly realm and on earth is great and should not be underestimated. However, while Satan and his forces are formidable enemies, Jesus Christ crushed Satan's power, fulfilling the prophecy of Genesis chapter 3, verse 15. The cross of Christ won the victory. The prince of this world now stands condemned, John chapter 16, verse 11, and Jesus will one day destroy Satan's power completely and purify creation. Satan's Power in the Heavenly Realm, Spirit World Satan's power has repute in the spiritual realm, where he has limited access to the presence of God. The book of Job provides insight into the relationship between God and Satan. In Job chapter 1, verse 6 through 12, Satan stands before God and reports that he has been walking up and down on the earth. Verse 7, God asks Satan if he has considered godly Job, and Satan immediately accuses Job of insincerity. He only loves God for the blessings God gives. Stretch out your hand, Satan says, and strike everything he has, and he will surely curse you to your face. Verse 11, God grants Satan permission to affect Job's possessions and family but not his person, and Satan leaves. In Job chapter 2, Satan comes again into God's presence and is this time permitted to affect Job's personal health. The rest of the book is from Job's perspective, providing an example of how to deal with suffering. This is an important passage because it shows Satan's place in the spiritual realm. He is able to accuse God's people in his very presence, and Jude chapter 1 verse 9 shows that even Michael, the archangel, needs the Lord's help in overcoming him. However, Satan is obviously restrained from enacting his full fury. He is still a created being under God, and his power is limited. Satan's Power on the Earth Job chapter 1 also reveals that Satan does enact evil and cause direct harm on earth. The most well-known and important of his actions on earth occurred in the Garden of Eden. Genesis chapter 3 tells of Satan's temptation of Eve, the mother of all the living, and her subsequent first sin. It was this act and that of Eve's husband, Adam, that brought sin into the world, and it is the reason all humankind must be redeemed from sin in order to be with God. One day, Jesus met a woman who had been crippled by a spirit for 18 years, Luke chapter 13, verse 11. Jesus attributes the infirmity to Satan who had kept her bound, verse 16. Satan's power was real, but it was easily overcome by our Lord. He put his hands on her and immediately she straightened up and praised God. Jesus' miracle was a clear demonstration of his authority over Satan. Since his instigation of evil on earth, Satan has been named the Prince, God, or ruler of this world. He is the enemy of God and truth, and he does everything he can to tempt individuals and larger groups of people. He leads the whole world astray, Revelation chapter 12, verse 9. Satan accomplishes this by various means, including appealing to man's pride, interfering with the transmission of truth, and placing false believers within the church. In John chapter 8, verse 44, Jesus says that Satan is a liar and the father of it. God still grants Satan some authority in this world, which means that his power is not yet completely broken, except in one area, his power of death. Hebrews chapter 2, verses 14 and 15 says that Jesus came as a man to die in order to destroy him who holds the power of death, that is, the devil a power Satan had held from the beginning, John chapter 8, verse 44. The salvation Jesus provides has released us from Satan's stranglehold. Death has lost its sting. Satan's Power, The Conclusion The Bible says that the whole world is under the control of the evil one, 1 John chapter 5, verse 19, and we must be self-controlled and alert. Your enemy, the devil, prowls around like a roaring lion, looking for someone to devour. 
1 Peter chapter 5, verse 8. Yet Christians have a great hope for Jesus Christ and our faith in him have overcome Satan's evil. The one who is in you is greater than the one who is in the world. Want to learn more? Subscribe so you don't miss the next video. Visit gotquestions.org for more great content and check out the details section below this video. There you'll find one book I recommend along with several links to related questions. If you'd like to learn about Bible Munch or if you're interested in bite-sized devotionals, subscribe to Bible Munch on YouTube. It's linked right here. Now remember, got questions? The Bible has answers. We'll help you find them.